Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's the source of the so-called fake news controversy. It turns out it's this wacko leftist professor named Dr. Melissa Zimdars. Uh, so she took down her fake news list and claimed she was harassed. In other words, people are chewing her ass out. Uh, she came up with... Melissa Zimba, Zimdars is an assistant media and communications professor at Merrimack College in Massachusetts. She created a list of so-called false and misleading news sites to allow people to identify fake news. Okay, you turn on one of the Alphabet channels or Clinton News Network, NPR, PBS. You can find plenty of fake news there if you, that's what you're looking for. And also, uh, and the worst ones are Salon and Think Progress, that type of thing. It also can include some clickbaity and satirical news sources such as The Onion. This was initially created by Dr. Zimdars is a resource for students in the hope that they would read stories from sites on my list in conjunction with other news sources. She wrote an article in the Washington Post that was soon cir widely circulated among the public. So here's a Washington Post article. I brought that up. For years I have rolled my eyes at news headlines on Facebook. Even respected mainstream news institutions were marketing their articles for clicks, shares, and never dwindling piece of advertising revenue pie. But lately, some more questionable outlets have started appearing in news feeds, mimicking the intensive sort of style that bothered me when new, real news organizations used it. These other sources were names such as 100% FedUp.com, which is a good site, and Natural News, which is a good site, started showing up as citations of my students' papers and reference as authoritarian in classroom discussions, too. These days, as more and more people turn to Facebook to stay informed, it's hard to tell the difference between news and news. Unbelievable, especially when the news is posted by people you trust. So, this past Monday, I put together a resource for my students in meeting class, false, misleading, clickbaity, and other satirical news sources. Now, here she's talking about different uh, different sources. She doesn't have a list here. It's been removed because she claims she was being harassed. In other words, people are calling her. Uh, names and stuff. She deserves to be called names. Avoid websites that end in low X example news low. These sites have take place of pieces of accurate information and then packaging that information with other false or misleading facts sometimes for purposes of satire or comedy. And they, I'm not going to go through all these criteria. I'm going to explain what's going on here. Oh, so I'll bring up this idiot's picture. Uh, Melissa Mish Zimdars. You see, what's going on here is left underestimated the power of the so-called alt-right media. And now they want to shove them down. Now, these people like Melissa Zimdars, they hate freedom. They hate personal responsibility. They hate the fact that we have a representative republic, republic where people can get uh, their news from multiple sources. They, they believe that you know, the First Amendment means the government approves of what you uh, 
what your news source can be or what you can say, and then you can say it. They believe that the government should approve everything before you can say it. That's what these are authoritarians. Melissa Zimdar is an authoritarian. She is a communist. She hates freedom. She hates representative government. She hates America. These people are all white. Pretty much. There are probably some exceptions. This is a campus radical. You know, she... They get their training... Soviet Union no longer exists, but they get their training from communists or left over. Uh, there's a very large communist contingent in this country. They, of course, the left denies it, but, and then they turn right around and embrace communist philosophy. They believe, as I said, they believe that the First Amendment means that the government approves what you can say and then you can say it. Never occurs to these people that there's this thing called freedom where anybody who can speak out can speak out. As long as you don't go threatening public officials or something like that, that's out of line. Can't do that. So, at any rate, here's the freedom-hating authoritarian uh, Melissa Zimdars, she's, she and her ilk are enemies of this country as far as, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm not taking that back. They're enemies of freedom. They hate the Constitution. They hate self-rule. We see them, you know, parading down the streets with all the anti-Trump rallies. It's the same people who think exactly like this person. They're members of, you know, they're communists, basically. She is an American Sandinista. This is nothing new. I can, I can go on uh, any of these college websites and find one asshole like her after another. Only she's come to national prominence. Because uh, she made up this hit list of sites that she wants taken down off the internet. That's what this is really about. They want to censor the alt right, so the only ones that can speak out are the alphabet channels. Everybody else would be gone from the internet, and you'd have to turn strictly the alphabet channels for your information. And that's like. Uh, going to a compulsive liar for your information. You know, say it one more time. These people hate freedom. They hate representative government. They are anti-American. They are communists. I said it. I'm not taking it back. I don't care if you're some student of hers and you're offended by that. Too bad. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.